Yeah, it's your boy AG, Corner Man Boxing. I'm here, my man, Papito, bless hands. Mikey Williams, top photographer in the game. Uh, how you doing today, Papito? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm excited for two things. I'm excited because my nephew fights tonight, Joseph Bless Hands. And I'm excited because I'm always excited every time I call my boy Mikey over here. Absolutely. Yeah. Doing a great it. job, man, for hooking him up, man. So tell us a little bit more about, about your brand, man. How you how you came up with the with the name and all of that stuff. Well, when I first started cutting here in Texas, when I went, there was not a lot of barbers. So they, one one client told me, yo, you got some blessed hands. You blessed me up. Mm -hmm. That's what caught on to me. His name is Swift. That's his name. I st I, I'm still friends with him. And um, from that day, I gave myself a nickname of Papito Blessed Hands. And then from there, well, my, I, I created my own brand with products and, and, and my barbershops and everything, and I named it Blessed. Right. It's, it's a word that everybody can relate to. You know, the fact that you wake up every day, you're breathing, that's somebody enough for you to say you're blessed. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And yeah, that, that name, uh, your, your nephew uses that name, right, Joseph Adorno? And Joseph, me and Joseph are, have always been close. You know, we had a, our uncle-nephew relationship is, is, is very unique. So him, you know, coming up in the amateur ranks, he just surprised me one time and said, yo, Theo, I'm gonna use your name, Bless Hands. So me, it was a great honor. I'm like, hell yeah, I, I didn't say, I didn't hesitate. I said, go right ahead. You know what I mean? Right. I, I won't share with nobody else unless it's my son and you. Right, that's so, what's up. Yeah, and as, as you guys can see, man, he got the nice clippers, man. You He's see bad. That? That's some badass <laughs> clippers. Tell him, Mikey. I mean, he's just hooking you up right now. We the see tools it. Of the this, they, look, this is real gold. Nah, it ain't real gold, but it's close. <laughs> <laughs> it, it got your, it got like your name on it too, guns, right? right? It got my name right there. It was like one of those cartel like joints, right? <laughs> guns, like... yeah, 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 yeah. See, I carry it over here. Yeah. So we, oh, you need a hand? Boom, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Abito, tell us, tell us, you know, you, you guys are located where? In Texas, I believe? Yeah, I, I'm from the East Coast, but I've been living in, in El Paso, Texas right. for nine years now. El okay. Paso, great place to be, man. That place is booming, right? It's booming, man. It's growing so fast, growing man. Fast. Honestly, oh yeah. And he's got a barber shop full of badass dudes that can cut. Yeah, you went to the south that one day. Yeah, you brought me in. Top quality, huh? Oh, the best, dude. But you got a, you got more than one location, right? I got yeah, two locations: one on the east side of El Paso and one on the west side of El Paso. Nice. The only thing I regret is that we didn't have enough time. For me to tell Mikey, yo, Mikey said, take some pictures of the shop. That would have been the best. Uh, <laughs> Not only having a nice we'll shop, do it again. but having Mikey yeah, take the we'll pictures, that would have been the best. Another time we'll present it, so God <laughs> willing, you know, everything happens for a reason. We'll do it yeah, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be there in El Paso again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I've heard also you do um, another topic that interests you, man. You do uh, some, some work for the kids too, right? Yeah, um, see what I want to do, I want to bring something new to the city of El Paso, right? The city where I'm from and I work at. So this year, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be filling up backpacks with a lot of supplies, and we're gonna be, we're not gonna sell them, we're gonna give them for free. Most likely, wow. see, most, most of what we're gonna be targeting low-income families. We see a lot that need help, so we want them to come over here if they don't got money to buy supplies or whatever. We're gonna not only give them a discount haircut on the kids, possibly free, I'll, I'll give them for free, I don't care, but that's me. But for free, they're really gonna get a backpack full of supplies for free on us. Just to just to give the community gives us so much, we gotta give back. I Absolutely. think everybody has to give back at one point, you know, so some way or another. That's amazing, man. That's that's awesome. I don't see a lot of people really doing that too much, as far as you know, cutting hair wise and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's not all about cutting hair and making money and be like, yeah, look at me making money. You gotta give back. You always, right. you know, my, 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 my mentor, Mark Moreau, told me, like, yo, you got to give back to the community. You know, that, that's how you, that's how you cement yourself in the community as a, as a pillar. That's how you say mm -hmm. it, right? Pillar. Yeah. Right. But that's where the real, real joy comes from, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. Being in photography, too. I, as you know, I try to help everybody and everybody, man. Oh, yeah. You I can buy. people come up is one of my big things as well and that's where you get you really enjoy filming absolutely stuff man like that you know i've seen it firsthand i can vouch for myself you're some real good people right here man so papito where can we follow you on instagram man oh easy you can follow me at, at papito underscore bless hands it's at p-a-p-i-t-o underscore bless hands and how about you, Mikey? Best hey, photographer? He's a, he's a pretty good photographer, too. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> hey, 
Yeah. That, that means a lot. Now, you, now I feel like... not bad. He's, he's pretty good. Yeah, okay. He's good. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how we're gonna find out. Yeah, if the photography skills, yeah. my my barber skills. One thing, either we're gonna be happy or we're gonna regret it. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I'm, either way, it'll still yeah. be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun for a little bit. At least the hair grows back, yeah. and, and we can delete the photos. Yeah, we're gonna waste the whole SD card for no reason, and then I'm just gonna look at myself in the mirror like, damn, I should have done yeah. this. <laughs> Dude, I can cut, man. I cut for a long time. I see you cut hair, as a matter of fact. I always cut my own hair, too. You That's pulled, crazy, you, you were cutting somebody, and you posted it. It's Tio Pimo Lopez. You got his hair? Yeah. Get out of here, bro. Yeah? yeah. One of his big fights. Look at yeah. that. He had, a stress, he had a stress, like a skin fade. He had a stress spot right there. Bro, I had the oh, that's fade. right. He has that spot. I cut him one time. And, and his father went to the store just to get some $20 clippers or whatever, and I had to use that shit with the fucking big. <laughs> so he just cut it. Dude, Yo. came out sick. Hey, hey, it what you got? I mean, yeah. I don't have no less yeah. hands equipment like <laughs> homie over it here. Worked. He just gave me that exclusive, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because you're a photographer. You're talking about how you have hey, use the barber tools skills. Trade, you know, the, you use what you got. Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, he can probably cut with anything, man. You know, you get to that level where. Bro, be before I had clippers in, in the before they sent me my clippers when I was in the military in basic training, mm -hmm. you had no idea. You know the big right, the red razors. Yeah. I cut them to take the little blade out to yeah. line people up. There That's how go. it was, but, but hey, it worked. See? It That's worked. Crazy. You, do, you do what you can do, and and man. You'd be amazed. That's what you call just pushing yourself, you know? Using right. what you got, bro. A man of all different trades. Jack of all trades, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're... You got a passion, man. You're going to find a way, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you have... You're right. Same thing with pictures. You know what I learned, too? Okay. I Recently, I learned about the gray card. Oh, okay. Color but, balance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think the last um, weigh-in that we was in, in Philly... I didn't have it, so my pictures coming out like like red. It was like like brownish, mm -hmm. too um too hot, too warm, too warm. I didn't have the card, so I looked at the ground. You know what? Let me just take a picture of the ground. Was it it was gray. It was it was gray. It was like grayish. Oh, you gotta shoot it on white. On white. It's easier to do white. Okay, but I didn't know that. I shot down and it fixed. It was way better. Yeah. And I'm like no one that I see photographers just take a picture of anything. I'm yeah. like yo, what are you what, what are Either you doing? Either white or gray. White or gray. Yeah. Okay, so I learned that trick. So that's what I'm saying. Like I didn't have the card, so I, so I did that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing with you know not having the tools or whatever. Yeah, you have this expensive gray card. That, you know, it's a color card you shoot into, and it tells your camera you can. Yeah. You know, Do you even use one? You don't use one. Yeah. Yo, what do you? That's for you. And I'm colorblind, dude. <laughs> Let me see the color. Yo, know, all the I photographer didn't. followers, I didn't man. I didn't know that, man. Colorblind, like a mother. Really? Yeah, when I joined the military, they told me I was colorblind. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. They, no, they give you a test. They give you a test. Yeah. For sure. And look at that. So now I have to know, like, the color temperatures. Like, he's talking about warm and shit. You just got to know uh, the colors. Like, outside, it's sunlight. It's 5,600 Kelvin. Wow. So you tell your camera, okay. So I had to study the numbers because I can't just look at the colors and know because the colors aren't the same to me. Wow. So I have to know, okay, where am I at? Is that a fluorescent light? Is that a tungsten light? A 32 and balance? Sunlight? See, but here's the thing. It's good to have a team. For instance, you should shoot. You take the perfect shots, right? And then you have the team member that be like, listen, here's the shot. Here's the perfect mm -hmm. shot. Do the colors. Fix it, upload it, boom, you're done. You're trying to edit around here. <laughs> so much knowledge. <laughs> you guys are blessing us with so edit. much knowledge. <laughs> well, all the photographers out here, man. Mike, I don't think we got your information. Where can we follow you, Mikey? Uh, for Mikey Williams. And on Instagram, Instagram, right? All right. I'm more or less on Instagram, not so much on Twitter, but All right. Yeah. Instagram's cool. You can check out my shit, Jack. You tell them, anytime they see a top-ranked fighter with a dope-ass shot, with a, the dopest picture ever, who shot it? Who you shot see it? This? Yeah, yeah. Mikey, yeah, Mikey shot, shot yeah. And yeah, then, hashtag, and, hashtag. and if you see him with a badass haircut, you know it's probably coming from Papito. Yeah, I don't man. know if I'm putting the hat on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he doing? He might not go with the hat tonight, man. Yeah, He's feeling I clean. Have the hat on, but... <laughs> All right, I wouldn't even get mad. I wouldn't even get mad, bro. I wouldn't even get mad. I'm gonna tell you why. Because Mikey is known to be wearing a hat all the time. Exactly. If I see Mikey wearing a hat, that's not Mikey. 
<laughs> yeah. Just take it off every now and then. And let <laughs> Just let them know. Yeah, let them know. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, thank you guys so much for all the information you guys bless us with. All the thank positive you work you guys are doing, helping guys come up, looking out for the kids, man. Everybody go follow my guys right here, man. They're Appreciate great you, individuals, man. man. God bless you guys, and we're going to keep following you guys. And I hope to keep working with you in the future. Thank, thank you. you, guys.